Today I am going to candle the eggs that are in the little giant incubator, the one with the fan. These guys right here, we have a double yoked egg in there. Um, so that will be interesting. We'll be able to determine fertility, hopefully. Uh, last time we saw only one baby growing in there and today maybe we'll get a better look. Maybe we can determine if there's two. It's day 14 for the little giant fan. It is day 4 on the still air. And it is day 20 on the Brinsay incubator, which is set to hatch right now. And I can hear the birds cheeping inside, but none of them have uh, pipped yet. Okay, well let's get started on candling these guys. Oh, this one looks pretty full. So it could have just been the way the chicken sits. letting you see the movement. If you, you see that shadow moving below and any fluttering, that's um, embryo movement, which I can see. This one's moving a lot. Moving little baby in there. Okay. I almost mistook a very thick vein here for um, the ring of death. But then I saw the baby moving. Great. Here is the double yoker. Oh dear. I hope this isn't what I think it is. Maybe it's dead. Hmm, doesn't look good, but let me try the other side. Oh, I hear the little babies in the brinsley getting ready to hatch. Oh, the double yoker seems to have died, but I am just not sure. I'm about 75% sure that this egg is dead, but since I'm not 100%, I'm going to leave it in the incubator until the next candling. But I do not have high hopes for the double yogurt in this batch, so. So that's a bummer. 